This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, honey! In the end, I talked big, but I couldn't make a single dish adequately. You know, you can always just eat an apple. <laughs> That's easy, no cooking required. At this rate, I'll go without dinner. And tomorrow morning, no breakfast, and no bento for lunch, either. I didn't know how many days it would be before my parents returned, but at this rate, without a doubt... <gasps> No, oh, you can call Renna. <laughs> Renna, I almost burned the house down. Can I please have some food? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, Rika? This guy's very dramatic. Rika-chan kept patting my head with a smile on her face that couldn't possibly get any bigger. I, I don't know, I think it could get a little bigger. <laughs> so Toko, completely appalled at how unsightly I looked, heaved a heavy sigh. You know, it could probably get a little... Yeah, see? That's bigger. <laughs> hey, do not rank your opinion of all adult men by your opinion of Keiichi. This is bad. <laughs> There's vending machines on every corner. His parents said not to eat out. <laughs> As I sobbed like a girl, Satoko, displeased, brushed me aside and dumped the remains of the miso soup into the sink tidy and began to rinse out the pot. <laughs> Satoko, uh, don't clean up after our mess. I couldn't have Satoko clean up the cooking utensils I'd made a mess of. There's even vending machines at religious shrines. <laughs> I mean, hey. The, the Lord's Supper and all that. <laughs> she grinned as she said it. Satoko <laughs> Hojo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yes, that's true. He's not an adult. He's still a teenager. Actually, I'm, I think I'm digging the console sprites, at, at least for these two. Satoko turned around and declared, seeming bothered. As if to say that amateurs should keep their hands off. Her annoyed expression was a little scary. Satoko didn't answer. Instead, she spun around back and began to rifle through the pots in the refrigerator. Oi, oi. Satoko, that saying that could get you cancelled nowadays, which is stupid. <laughs> Trad wife Satoko? <laughs> Satoko snapped her fingers and Rika got to her tiptoes, grabbed me by the back of my neck, and started dragging me away. Ah. Leaving Satoko alone in the kitchen, Rika dragged me back to the living room. Oi, oi, Rika-chan, just talk to Satoko. If you tell Satoko, it's a lot of Oh, I'm sorry. Was it Satoko or you who almost burned the house down? You're never going to let me live that down. Today, Satoko has come to see Keiichi. Mm. Yeah, you, you were kind of mean to her. And I, even if I don't particularly like Satoko, like, you don't get to just be mean to her for no reason. Eventually, from the kitchen, there was the sound of a faucet being twisted and a stove dial being turned. I began to hear the nostalgic sounds that made me envision dinner time. The refrigerator opening and closing, ingredients being cut on the chopping board. Did he just throw, like, an entire bunch of celery in without cutting it up into the pot. <laughs> That'd be kind of hilarious. What did she, that mean? Was Satoko? Was she cooking? ケイチにいっぱいいっぱいバカにされましたですから、サトコは自分にもお料理がちゃんとできるところをケイチに見せたかったのですよ。こうして音だけ聞いてる限りでは、お皿を落とす音も。<笑> Keiichi, how much of your own blood did you spill into the dinner, by the way? At this point, at least, she had proven she was a more skillful cook than me. In the cooking showdown with Satoko Hojo versus Keiichi Maibara, 
It looked like victory had already been decided. I recalled Satoko's slightly annoyed expression from before. That's what I'm... That's what I'm saying. Like, I get if he's totally inept at being in the kitchen, he's probably never learned. So he just needs to learn. And his mom wasn't really able to teach him because they had to leave right away. Honestly, I feel like if I was his mom, I would have been like, Hey, Rena! How would you like to show KG a thing or two? I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll make it worth your while. And she's like, I'd love to. <laughs> mm. We were just provoking each other with our usual back and forth. It wasn't usual back and forth, though, because she wasn't really doing it herself. But I think maybe I did overdo it. At the very least, I shouldn't have made fun of Satoko, who could cook for herself when I'd never cooked for other than recreation before. Satoko wa... I quietly took a peek into the kitchen. She definitely looked different from her usual bird brain, Satoko. Uh, her eyes were sharp and her movements were brisk, to the point that it was a little scary. Then she must have noticed me because she turned around and shot me in an annoyed glare. I cringed in fear and hastily pulled my head back out. Satoko's gotta get braces one of these days, because one of her teeth is hanging out. <laughs> you cannot handle sharp utensils. I mean, you have an excuse for that one, DX. Yeah, Keiichi has two hands. <laughs> Using a knife is a lot more tricky if you only have one hand. Then again, I, like, I can cut stuff, but when I see like the professional chefs that are doing like that... <laughs> Like super fast knife action. I'm just like I, I'm not doing that. She's mad. <laughs> Is she gonna poison the food? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> He'll never know if I put this laxatives in his food. <laughs> Please don't do that, Satoko. That wouldn't be nice. I mean, they live together, so she, I think Rika and Satoko know each other pretty well. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I jumped at Satoko's angry outburst and faced towards the kitchen. I felt exactly like a kid who had done something bad and had gotten called to the teacher's lounge. Speaking of which, that's gonna happen to you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I used it all. <笑>冷蔵庫がでかくて全然わかりませんですわよ。すすすみません。味噌はその冷蔵庫の中段扉の中の下の網棚の左奥に。なんですのこれは？お味噌のパックは使ったらちゃんと口を閉じなさいですわ
I had just been overshadowed by Rena's and Rika-chan's artistic abilities, so Togo's skills were clearly enough to get passing marks. Well, this'll be nice. It's nice to have company for dinner. I hastily took a three people's worth of dishes and such from the cabinets and headed to the dining room. When I returned there, I could hear laughter from a variety show on the television. Rika-chan was sprawled out on the couch, watching television and relaxing. When she noticed me putting dishes out on the table, she came scampering up. <laughs> yes, th thank you, VX. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be one of those women. We, we all know what, what we're talking about. How does Rika speak a star? <laughs> Rika's embraced the whole you can't control what happens to you, you can just control how you react to it. <laughs> She's just a crabby person. She just has, pardon the expression, resting bitch face, alright? It's a thing. Some of us just look perpetually ticked off as our default expression, myself included. Who's Nini? Nini? What the heck is Nini? It sounds like a... Is that a sound a cat makes? Nini wa Nini desu. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. He wasn't, like, mentioned at all in Chapter 2, but she had an older brother named Satoshi, didn't he? Or didn't she? <laughs> he was kind of played a huge part in that first chapter. I totally skimmed over that. Satoko no onisan nano desu yo. Oh, ooh, that was the other thing. Yeah, chapter two. I, okay, maybe there was reference to him, but I didn't remember any reference to him. Satoko no ani. So I guess he's a thing in chapters one and three. Satoshi to iimasu desu. Mm hmm. Namae kurai kiita koto ga arimasen desu ka? Because he was the he was the one in the club before we were, and then he he was the guy who he was the guy who disappeared appeared last year for, like, the Watanagashi festival. Like, somebody died. I can't remember who died, but I think he was the one who, like, disappeared afterwards. Satoshi. Satoshi Hojo? Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. At least he didn't go to our school. She had a brother, huh? I didn't know that. Saying that, Rika-chan grinned even more brightly and went Nipa again. <laughs> I wouldn't call my older brother bro, bro. Yeah, it's, I think, it's, it's one of those Japanese things that probably doesn't translate very well over into English or other cultures. However I looked at it, she seemed to be in a bad mood. But her good friend Rika-chan was saying that it was actually the opposite. Maybe Satoko's older brother Satoshi is actually a lot older than her. He must have gone off on his own, and he was living by himself far away. She's like, I can hear you gossiping about my wife, goons. She spread her arms wide to demonstrate the width of how well they got along. According to Rika-chan, Satoko supported her docile, slightly unreliable older brother through nagging. That was their relationship. Oh, was her older brother Sunahara? I see. That certainly applied to the current situation. We had me, unreliable, unable to cook even a single dish properly, and Satoko, who redid it while scolding me. Could Satoko have been getting a glimpse of her brother, who now lived far away, through me? Okay. Satoko 
She said there is no way the unreliable Keiichi-san could possibly make dinner. We need to go make it for him. Hmm. So she saved our life, then she cooked dinner. That's pretty nice, Satoko. <laughs> I forget. Yeah, oh, that's true. That was Satoshi's baseball bat, wasn't it? Because we found it in the club closet. It had his name. <laughs> Home run Ren and Mion's faces. Oh, that's that's such a brilliant and also horrible <laughs> description of what happened. Yep, yep. That that mm. well, that was good times. That was two years ago. Wow. Satoko wa ima demo shikari mono no imoto na no desu. I was an only child. I didn't know how it felt to have siblings. Of course, I'd never had a little sister like Satoko. But I felt that in this moment, I was an older brother, obediently and helplessly being looked after by her. Without any teasing or messing around, I'm going to give my thanks for her trouble. That's what I honestly thought. <laughs> what is, what's a ladle? Ah, gomen, gomen. Shamoji wa... I ran into the kitchen, got the ladle out of the drawer, and offered it to Satoko. I thought this was my this I thought this was my spoon. <laughs> I heard Rika-chan's effervescent voice coming from the dining room. Satoko turned off the gas flame on the stove and lifted the, up the pot of miso soup. By the way, uh, remember when I said screenshot that, yeah, he didn't turn off the gas. <laughs> Man, that's a fast rice cooker. I can carry rice cookers just fine without being warned about it. I thought about replying like that, but I decided not to. No mean words or witty retorts today. Um, you, you said that a little too late. <laughs> Maybe you said that earlier in the day. Rice was steam billowing from it, and miso soup. As well as a handful of side dishes. A handful? She made more than one? On the table was a truly firm, family-oriented dinner. It wasn't weird at all, or extravagant. It was a daily meal, the sort a housewife would make. It was very nonchalant and brimming with liveliness. <laughs> At Satoko's command, Rika-chan and I both thanked her in a loud voice. Oh, here we go! Our first new CG! Let's go! That looks nice. Also, is that- are those brown streaks on the bowl like a design pattern with paint, or did she just spill a lot of teriyaki sauce on it? <laughs> she also has got a spray water bottle of Coca-Cola that's gone a little flat, and we got pineapple chunks in stew. Cool. Hey, hey! Omisoreshiyashita! Please do. I love I love seeing photos of food. <laughs> That's why I have that channel in the Discord. After I honestly admitted my defeat, Satoko's expression finally softened, and she laughed with her normally loud and cheerful voice. Oh, Though she used the rice cooker, it tasted a little different from the rice my mom made. Maybe she used a different amount of water for it. Even so, I could feel Satoko's personality from the rice, which made it taste better than usual. The miso soup was a little on the thick side, but it was still delicious. The side dishes, while not exactly flashy, tasted great as well. It was all so appetizing, and I couldn't stop eating. I gave my honest impression, without a hint of sarcasm. Satoko seemed to have been expecting some, because when I praised her so honestly, she got flustered instead. <laughs> Oh, that's cheating. You know, you're still two dishes ahead of Keiichi. Satoko said, embarrassed, her face a bit flushed. There was none of her normal verbal abuse or sarcasm in their eye. Isn't this a much better relationship? <laughs> 
敵合いのおかずを並べればそこそこに立派にはなりますのよねうちのお袋だって出来合いのお惣菜は使うし缶詰だって使うよそんなので恥ずかしがることはないだろうこれは立派な夕食だよ I gave her honest praise I never met Satoko's brother but Satoshi would probably praise her in the same way <笑>まあ私にもそこそこのお料理ができることが分かっていただけたのでしたらそれで十分ですわね Yeah, oh, is that just an anime theme to have like the one tooth hanging out? Yeah, it's a, it, it's a little weird looking, I gotta say. Huh? Did that prat just awkwardly change the subject? When I realized my response had been on the mark, it made me a little happy. Mikachan mentioned Satoko's older brother's name again. Satoko's chopsticks paused and she looked up at the ceiling. She had a faraway smile, as if yearning for a friend who had moved away. From how it looked, I got the impression she hadn't seen Satoshi in quite some time. Satoko realized I was giving her a blank stare. That's a stretchy mouth. Satoshi is my brother. Nini must have been a nickname only Satoko used for him. It was funny to see her hastily deny it. Oh, he ran away. There was another story to what Satoko had said so cheerfully. The reason for Satoshi not living with her was a little serious. Everyone had been talking about it in such an upbeat way, so I continued to talk about him. Should I not have broached the subject at all? I hastily took a look at Satoko's face after thinking that, but there was no trace of the gloomy expression I'd been worrying about. サトシは、ああ見えても、とても我慢強い人なのですよ。サトコが思ってるよりもずっと我慢強いのです。リコはすぐニーニーのことを持ちますのね。リコはちょっと甘やかしすぎですのよ。サトコはニーニーに厳し
バカにされてるような俺は全然バカにしてないぞ真面目に褒めてるバカにしてるときはリカちゃんも一緒に撫でるからな<笑>それもそうですわねリカは人を小バカにするときよく頭を撫でますものねみーリカ、You're doing that in a condescending way. あ、oh. あ。パンズメのイワシさんが美味しいんですよ。あ<笑>あ、oh, リカ is probably my favorite character though. <笑>リカちゃんは neat by star and her smile became even brighter. Her attitude was clear as day, but it was annoyingly cute. So both Satoko and I suddenly burst into laughter. <笑> Man, these fish are good. <笑> the laughter lined up the table. Well, the table itself is so dull and simple that I never even thought people could be laughing like this around it. And then, I finally came to realize something really obvious. True. <laughs> this harmonious moment, this happy circle, it was completely different than spending time with family, but still somehow nostalgic. Satoko, do you want to meet Nini? Nini, you You definitely did. And Rika ratted you out. Hey, wait. You've been saying Nini this, Nini that the whole time. I grinned wryly and decided to call him brother like she told me to. Zatoko, do you want to meet your brother? Rikachan stopped eating, then looked back and forth between my face and Satoko's. Satoko was smiling. She looked like she was trying to choose her words. Just from that, Satoko conveyed her feelings. Honestly, she wished he, she wished he would come home right now. But she wasn't that weak. Satoshi should just do what he wanted until he was satisfied. In return, she'd let him have the scolding of his lifetime. And then she'd have dinner with him and lay out his futon for him. I like you, 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 I like you. It's been that long already. Rikachan smiled thinly, her, ear, her eyes appearing to look far away. Well, I like you, I like you, I like you. If you like your life, you can see the life of your life. If you like your life, <laughs> he actually ran away so he could get jacked at the gym. <laughs> Definitely. Uh oh, I'm sorry, uh, Satoko, but we got the log here. Boom, you said it. Caught in 4K. I did not! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you bet all the Oreos in your house have one pack that Satoshi is dead. Oh, let's be maybe optimistic. Oh wait, this is a horror game. Things rapidly returned to the usual lively atmosphere of lunchtime at school. But nothing changed about Satoko's feelings towards her brother. She was living so bravely, and so strongly. Hey, Satoshi. Your sister's trying so hard to watch the place while you're gone, isn't she? Isn't she bunking with Rika? Did I miss something? Like, they were 100% living together in Chapter 2. <laughs> in Chapter 3, the thing that's different is Satoko owns real estate. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is, it is. Give it a rest and come back soon, got it? Satoko, you should have to take care of your hands and take care of your hands. Technically, the rule in, our, in my house was whoever makes dinner doesn't have to do the dishes. Unless you're the only person in the house. It was when we were all watching TV while enjoying some tea after dinner. Who made the tea? Rika. Rika-chan let out a big yawn and then spoke. Satoko and I both looked at the clock and noticed how late it had gotten. No, perhaps we both realized it already. We just didn't want the warm moment to end. Maybe we didn't want to say anything. <laughs> what is with that smile? He <laughs> he he. Oh no! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> it looks like you'll have to do it. That's fair, honestly. Keiichi understands the golden rule. 
<laughs> I can't burn down the house doing the dishes. Two hours later. <laughs> Gee, she's turned into a perfect nagging little sister. It was charming and awkward. Emotions like that were all mixed up inside me. I gave her a vague, dry smile. Okay, Rika, let's not make this a weird thing, alright? It's gonna be very hard to explain to the principal why I, a 16-year-old, like, guy is getting petted by a 12-year-old girl. I don't really want to have to explain that one. Wow. Your house rule, clean your own dish and rock, paper, scissors for washing the cooking pot? I guess that's another way. In, in my house growing up, like, my mom kind of had the rule. She usually did all the cooking, but her rule was like, Hey, if you want to cook dinner, you can cook what you like. And if you cook dinner, you don't have to do any of the dishes. And that's why me and all my siblings are very good at cooking. <laughs> Rika-chan yawned again, so wide you could see her molars. I don't want to see that, CG. <laughs> Rika, close your mouth, jeez. <laughs> I think we're ignoring a very key uh, thing, Keiichi. We haven't made a bento yet. And I have a feeling that they're going to be like, hey, we did it to distract you, so you couldn't make a bento. And it's going to ruin the sweet moment. <laughs> I was gonna say it's a small town, so it's probably safe, but um, I don't think the last two chapters really uh, uh, support that. <laughs> Your motorbike? No, just bicycle. Yeah, but he's 16, and he's packing the heat. Uh, I mean, uh. <laughs> I was trying to worry I, I was trying to worry about them going home but I didn't think they'd be worried about me getting lost am I really that unreliable she really is being critical but yeah this feeling I have it's not bad so I ended up not needing to escort them I saw off Satoko and Rika-chan to the gate. Oh, I thought they were just going to stay over for, for the night. Thanks a lot for today. They really saved me. I gave them another bow filled with gratitude. So, so. Dude, well, that would be cheating. We have to make our own. Bread and jam. That's my jam, literally. <laughs> Francis knows about that too. <laughs> I memorized your kitchen layout. I know all that. You don't have to go into detail. I was about to say that, but I decided to humbly listen to her. It was then that I finally realized that Satoko, who had appeared to be in a bad mood, was in fact in a great one, just like Rika-chan had said. And that though she nagged a lot, she was very kind. I am liking Satoko a lot more in this chapter than in the last two. Okay, uh, he better not need to know about that. You don't have to do it for five minutes, actually. Stop talking for your teeth! It's weird! そ、そこまでしてくれなくても大丈夫だよ。目覚ましとけを少し早めにセットしておくことにする。ありがとな。色々と気にしてくれて。Stucker looked like she had more fault-finding to do. But she stopped and, leaving me with a good night, got on her bike and disappeared down the nighttime road. 
Heh <laughs> heh. Oh my god, the original art style is so weird. <laughs> I get it, like, it was drawn by the programmer, from what I understand, so... It makes sense these would be higher quality, but still, it's they're very goofy looking. <laughs> it means the Togo will destroy us. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I have a feeling that uh, Satoko is going to go crazy. You know, just as just as the running gag, or not gag, running running theme. Riga-chan went to do the same, but then I remembered something and came back. What happened, Riga-chan? Did you forget anything? Today's Riga-chan suddenly complimented me. She clapped her small hands. What was she on about? <laughs> Well, she's a bit of a pyromaniac, so. This better not turn into something weird, though. Rikachan didn't say anything. She just smiled and went all Nippa Star. <laughs> Ooh, what a beautiful moon. This Satoshi person, I don't know about that. <laughs> he probably wanted to be like, I want to move to the big city where there's all these opportunities. Then he goes to the big cities. Wait, the big city sucks. But I can't go back now. Yeah, Rika... Rika definitely plays up her, like, Oh, woo, she's so cute. Like, to take advantage of people. <laughs> like, she's definitely uses that to her advantage. And she's, she's a lot... She knows way more than she lets on, I think. She got all serious in Chapter 2, where she's just like... Leave everything to me, and then everything went to hell. Satoshi niwa Satoshi nari no jijou ga atta no desu. Kitto. I don't know what he was unhappy with, but whatever the reason, it was no excuse for abandoning Satoko. Hayaku kaette kuru to ii na. Ore ja, tabun honmono no nii nii no daiyaku wa itsu made mo tsutomara nai ze. Daijoubu desu yo. Kyou no keiichi wa Satoshi sokkuri datta no desu. If that's what makes Satoko happy. I take on this easy role whenever I needed to. Rika! <laughs> Satoko stopped her bike under a distant exterior light and called out to her friend, who wasn't coming no matter how long she waited. Mm. Yeah, look at that. One less piece of baggage she needs to shoulder. It feels like she's carrying she's carrying a lot of stuff, I think, inside. And I'm gonna be very interested for what unfolds in the Rika chapter. Well there we go. Bye. Leaving me with that, Rika chan sped off on her bike. <laughs> Rika! Slow down! She rode up next to Satoko, and then the two of them disappeared in the blink of an eye. Satoshi. I'll punch you right in the nose. <laughs> I'm gonna pop you right in the lip. Let's try our best until that day comes, Satoko. Even if I can no longer hear the sounds of the bicycles. I stood there for a while, seeing them off. That was a very nice set of scenes. I actually very enjoyed that. I just hope it, the whole older brother thing doesn't get really weird. New tips unlocked! Satoko's trap course elementary. Okay. You're on fire! <laughs> Attempted cooking. <laughs> I love it. Ooh. Ominous music. <laughs> so Toko's trap course is really creepy. Ore ga hoshou suru. Satoko nara kono yama de rojou shite ikkoshidan aite kurai nara jubun ni ashiraeru ni chigai nai. 
私は知ってるよサトコはとある国の特殊部隊に招聘されてトラップの訓練教官をやってたんだそんな変な話はいいから誰か助けて<笑> What is going on? How did it come to this? What traps did we fall for and how did we fall for them? Mion was caught in a profusely thin pitfall that she couldn't escape from, and only her head was poking above the ground. Rena's head was completely covered by a tin bucket. She was squirming around in a vain attempt to remove it. Either of these were really funny, but that's where it ended. At least they had their feet on the ground. What is she do? What is Satoko doing? I was wrapped up in a bamboo mat and hanging two meters above the ground. Ah, what was this trap and how did I fall into it? Huh? It was Satoko. This all started when they suggested that I was unfamiliar with nature, having grown up in the city and proposed a little exploration on the mountain. That sounds fun. レナじゃ迷子になっちゃうはあ裏山ね小さい頃はよく遊んだけどここ何年かはさっぱりだなあそこ道を誤るとかなりデンジャラスに迷うんだよな裏山なら私たちにお任せですわよ山が丸ごと私とリカの遊び場ですもの That's my backyard. That, that'd be crazy おおそれは心強いなじゃあここは2人の顔を立てて2人の道案内でハイキングと行こうじゃないかでもケイチくん裏山は迷うから遊びに行っちゃいけないって夏休みのしおりにも書いてあるよ I don't care what the junior wood jugs guidebook says I'm going to the mountain <笑>まだ夏休みではありませんですから大丈夫なのですよ僕たちが道をし裏山は昔から私たちに言ってくれました。今も同然。That was rude. 抜け道、近道までバッチリでございましたよ。あ<笑> ！Okay, I will say,、uh, Rena and Rika look look pretty good in this art style. This Togo looks a bit goofy. Oh yuck! <laughs> Yes, both Satoko and Rika-chan knew the path like the back of their hands. Thanks to them, we had our fill of fresh air, gorgeous views, and mother nature, the likes of which you could never see in the village. But the things got strange partway through. So, so, Uh-oh, I don't like that You don't want to run into the Ewoks. I forgot about Rena's casual outfit. Suddenly, squeak, crash. When Rena pulled the kite string, a bundle of bamboo spears fastened to a tree branch all came raining down with a clatter right next to where Rena was standing. I'm sorry? <laughs> so that's who's been committing all the murders. Dude, she's prodigious at traps. What the heck, Satoko? Bruh, that's evil. That's like a war crime, I'm pretty sure. According to the Satoko and Rika chan, Earlier in elementary school, Satoko had been on a trap making craze and set them up along every inch of this mountain. Why? The console sprites are growing on me, and I do like how they have like the actual moving mouths to lip sync, which is pretty cool. So I'll probably toggle. I, I usually toggle between the art styles, anyways. 
Mion and I just nodded wholeheartedly at Rena's hypothesis. But you're the one who brought us to this crazy mountain! Why was an average healthy Japanese boy like me being forced to deal with this light and threatening booby traps? And then, the very moment Satoko and Rika-chan just barely got out of sight was the, when the three of us all got caught in nice little traps together. The world is your bathroom. Rena, you're in the least problematic predicament. You can just lift the bucket off your head. Just lift it off your head! Okay, don't be creepy. Well, maybe, okay, if, if you saw that easily, maybe she should be wearing either, you know, shorts underneath it or just wearing a longer skirt. Smash, crash, crash, <laughs> hyper combo KO! Bucket Rena was using me as a sandbag and Mion was crying. I finally had an epiphany. Satoko had been so bent on taking everyone out to the mountain because she wanted to brag about all the traps she'd set up here over the years. You could have stopped it just showing them to us. I didn't need to experience how it felt firsthand. Rikachan pets our free heads in sequence in an incredibly satisfied mood. Alright, Rika, there's, there's no need for that. 